This is the first evidence that there was of uh, positrons. Uh, this dark track that you can see in the middle uh, was because a positron has passed through a cloud chamber. A cloud chamber is um, supersaturated with water vapour and the water droplets concentrate on dust or charged particles and as the charged particles move you can see the trail of water droplets. But why does it curve? Well to understand why particles curve is the physicists put them in a magnetic field and different charged particles curve in different ways and in fact oppositely charged particles curve and spiral in opposite directions. Here you can see a magnet set up with a north on one side and a south on the other. Let's take an alpha particle. We can work out which direction it goes using Fleming's left hand rule. Your first finger is the north to south, so that should point into the uh, picture. The second finger is the current, and for the current we use the conventional current, positive to negative. And because an alpha particle is positive, okay, we say that the current is actually going left to right. The thumb with the left, Fleming's left hand rule will show the movement, and so you should see as the particle moves into the magnetic field, it curves up. And in fact, if the particle stays in magnetic field, it will curve round in a spiral. If we then looked at a different particle, a negatively charged particle, then a negatively charged particle would curve in the opposite direction. And when the particles are in the magnetic field, they will show spiral tracks because the, the, the particle loses kinetic energy. And physicists are very, physicists are very um, interested in this because the, the direction in which they curl will show the charges, how much they curve um, will determine how much energy they have. You can see on this trail, on this um, diagram, there's also particles going straight through, which indicates that the particles are not charged.